what is going on everybody my name is nico and welcome back to another pokemon go battle league video today we're going to be using noctowl and yes i know noctowl right it got nerfed sky attack got nerfed in go battle league however i have pretty i mean this is pretty much the same team that i ran the, in the last video uh but this is the team i've been playing with the most this season and have had the most consistency with and i am such a big fan of it and i just gotten a good noctowl right at the start of the new season right after the sky attack nerf however i find altaria's in a bit of a tricky spot because it's like steelix is running around a lot more frequently there's just a lot of pokemon right now that altaria has a difficult time with so i have found myself really relying on the shadow ball from noctowl a lot more and just because noctowl uh got nerf doesn't mean that it's a bad pokemon like i've really been enjoying using it uh same with lantern and other things that got nerfed so for me personally i still think noctowl and even altaria are good pokemon to still rotate on teams and really i'm new to go battle league so i just got to use what i got so the team consists of noctowl here with galarian stunfisk and tentacruel noctowl obviously running sky attack and shadow ball galarian stunfisk rocking the rock slide and earthquake and tentacruel rocking the acid spray and scald very solid team i really love tentacruel it's one of my favorite pokemon to use and go battle league at least in great league right now super super fun and i'm really excited to use the team here for you guys so let's get into some of these battles so the first battle that we've got here we've got our noctowl leading into the pelipper and honestly this is a pretty fine matchup i'm not super upset about it uh i'm able to farm up a lot of energy with noctowl here so we're just going to go for a bunch of the fast attacks all it's going to be able to hit me with is either weather ball or hurricane hurricane does do pretty significant damage but i let this attack go through simply because i'm not super worried about it especially with how fast they charge it up that was very easy to call a weather ball coming in at me i'm gonna keep charging up my fast attacks and i'm actually gonna try and land the sky attack but i was a little slow on the click i'm gonna let another oh actually i did go for the shield here i held off on that shield weather ball comes through if it was a hurricane that would have been detrimental to my noctowl so i see why i decided to go for the shield however i'm gonna go for it uh sky attack here try and get them to pop a shield i do land it and i am going to keep farming try and get a little more energy here and go for another sky attack so we're charging up here pelipper maybe he's gonna eat this one it does decide to eat it but that puts it in a really good range for me to swap into tentacruel and just start farming down we're gonna obviously let this attack go through it's likely another weather ball and tentacruel will eat that up very very well weather ball comes in and yeah like i said tentacruel just eats that for breakfast i really need to get myself a pelipper i'm a big fan of it uh swampert comes in here and this is a very tricky matchup knowing they have a swampert's very very difficult uh, I know this is a Hydro Cannon because they charged up very quickly, so I'm not particularly worried about shielding at this time. But it's a very tricky matchup for this team. This team does have a lot of weaknesses to a lot of really powerful Pokemon, like Swampert. Uh, it does have a lot of ground weaknesses. Uh, it doesn't like Galarian Stunfisk a whole lot. So there's a lot of things that this team just has issues playing into. But I'm able to get a decent amount of damage off, and I think i go for the shield here i do i do go for the shield here mainly because i think i can farm this down with tentacle or at least get it in range to farm it down or get to another scald and force a shield so i'm gonna go for the acid spray here and this is either going to boost their defenses oh lower their defenses to the point that i can actually farm them down or it's going to give me the opportunity to yeah perfect just like i said it's going to give me the opportunity to knock them out and i am actually going to do a decent amount of damage onto the septile which is a popular pokemon right now as like a spice pick because it did get access to dragon claw so or breaking swipe excuse me giving them the opportunity to spam and just lower the attack stat so it's actually a really fun pokemon if you have access to it so we see we think here and stunfisk is the pokemon of choice mainly because i'm not particularly worried about leaf blade damage here leaf blade will hurt but it's not going to do like an oko or anything crazy because it's not super effective so i don't have to worry too much about the leaf blade here and i'm just going to keep farming to get as many rock slides as possible like i said septile is incredibly spammy you see how many times this pokemon is able to get a charge move off it's absolutely crazy so we're now in an interesting situation with our stunfisk but we're able to rock slide this down so we're going to hit this with a rock slide and then hopefully we'll be able to charge up again. They do have the shield. We can swap right into our Noctile and we are perfect and able to knock that Sceptile out. So GG's on that one. 
Next battle up, Noctowl goes in into a Polyrath. Polyrath is another Pokemon that this team struggles into. I'm not going to lie to you. Polyrath is really solid into a lot of Pokemon on my team. Specifically, uh, looking at the Noctowl as well as the Galarian Stuffish. They do rotate into their Pidgeot, which I find very interesting because it gives me the opportunity to swim, simply swap into Stunfisk and start farming up my Rock Slides. So we're not worried about anything that this Pidgeot has. We're going to be able to eat, whether it's a Brave Bird, a Feather Dance, whatever the case may be. As you see, Brave Bird goes off there, does a decent chunk of damage. Defense drops on them, and we're able to keep farming up till we get to two Rock Slides here. And if I'm remembering correctly, they let this one go through. Now we land this, and yep, that just KOs the Pidgeot. Puts us in a really good position here. We have two shields. Oh, and they just gave us the battle. <laughs> that is a GG. All right, Noctowl leads in this next battle into a Medicham, and honestly, Medicham does cause problems for my team. However, I find myself in a position where I'm willing to give up a two shield to farm down the Medicham with Noctowl, simply because I know they're going to stay in and try to ice punch me. So I'm able to just spam a bunch of fast attacks here and try and get as many energy as I possibly can. So that way I could kind of just get this as weak as possible. And by the time I have to swap into another Pokemon, Metacham's already low enough that I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to go for the sky attack here and just charge this bad boy up. They're obviously going to shield it away. And here we go. And there's the shield. Perfect. But I am in range to launch another sky attack pretty much off the rip, which is really, really solid. I really do like the Noctowl into Medicham matchup. Yes, you do have to give the two shield in order to secure it, but they also have to give up their two shield, which puts you in a really positive position. You see, I go for another shield here and we're down to no shields on the first Pokemon, which is kind of an interesting way to play. But sometimes it's just the way you got to go to get the dub. And this is how my Noctowl is pretty consistently deal with Metacham. I believe I do survive the Ice Punch here, so I'm just going to sit this one out, and I am going to try and land another Sky Attack. We're going to go really quick here, and no, I swap into Galarian Stunfisk as they swap into their Golbat. So, go ahead and charge up here. This is a really solid matchup for Galarian Stunfisk. I don't have to worry about anything in particular here. Uh, they are going to hit me with a Shadow Ball. It's going to do a decent amount of damage, but I am able to just keep farming my Rock Slide. I hit to two, and they have no shield, so I'm going to be able to take this Golbat pretty freely here. So the first Rock Slide lands, and here we go. Boom. Big damage, and then Rock Slide. Another one. Back to back. I love Galarian Stunfisk for this reason. It's so spammy. It's so bulky. It's super nice. It's not as good as it was with like Steelix running around with the ability to breaking swipe things. They do have Greninja. This is an interesting one. I am going to be able to get to another Rock Slide, which puts me in a really positive position because Greninja, despite being a good Pokemon into Galarian Stunfisk, is a glass cannon. So I'm able to do a huge chunk of damage into this particular Greninja before it's actually going to be able to knock me out. And they do go for the charge attack in order to knock out my Galarian Stunfisk before I can hit another rock slide which is smart on their part but this allows me to swap into Tentacruel pretty freely and Tentacruel into Greninja is a really good matchup from what I found. Greninja is just so glassy that Tentacruel is able to just bop this Pokemon down so I'm just going to go for the farm down here I'm able to take whatever they have coming at me. They are going to hit me with another charge attack but like I said I'm able to farm this down very very easily so I'm not particularly worried about it. So Night Slash is going to land, and I am in an interesting position because my Tentacruel is fairly weak at this point, and I do also have the Noctowl in the back that is a touch low, but I am saving it for a swap to catch a charge attack, but we do get Scald here, and I'm going to land this into the Medicham for a game ender. So we're leading our Noctowl into a Pelipper, which is a, again, we saw this earlier, a very solid matchup here for me, and I'm able to start farming here, but they're honestly just going to surrender. I don't know what that was all about, uh, so I'm just going to take the dub there and be happy. <laughs> So here we go, final battle here, Noctowl into Deoxys. Now, this is a Pokemon that my team struggles with quite a bit. I don't have a lot of solid answers into Deoxys. It has moves that counter everything that my team has. It Zap Cannons, my Noctowl, and my Tentacruel. So I'm going to try and swap to Galarian Stunfisk and get some energy up here. And they are going to swap as well into Diggersby. So I know I'm in a very tricky situation here. And I've got to be really careful. I'm not sure how this matchup's going to go, but we're going to land the Earthquake here and see what we could do. That's big damage damage onto Diggersby. The Earthquake nerf is a bit tough, but we are likely going to just go down. Uh, I'm assuming Scorching Sands is coming 
my way because uh, Diggersby did get access and it is a Scorching Sands. That's huge damage. So all I'm going to try to do here is get to a Rock Slide and get as much chip damage off as I possibly can into this Pokemon. So we're going to go for the Rock Slide here and see what we could do. It's not going to be very effective and it's not going to do a ton of damage here. And we are in a very interesting scenario where they are going to try and get us down here. Um, and again, we have to deal with that Deoxys in the back. So that puts us in a very, very scary situation. I'm going to go into the Tentacruel here and I'm going to try and farm this down. I am not doing a ton of damage here, so I'm kind of nervous. I think honestly switching into the Noctowl would have been a better play here. But I am going to take a shield here as Scorching Sands comes my way. Then we're going to keep going. We're going to keep farming up here. And we're going to are going to switch into the Noctowl now that we have some energy on Tentacruel. They're going to go back into Deoxys. And this is likely going to be a Zap Cannon flying my way. So I go ahead and shield this one away. And I know at this point that I'm in a really, really difficult spot it's actually thunderbolt that comes my way shadow ball is almost charged up to two and i am nervous because they have two shields and they have pokemon that can simply demolish my team like there's little to no hope for me at this point uh they are going to land the thunderbolt here or it's a psycho cut i'm not sure what they go for uh that was a pretty quick charge but it is going to be the thunderbolt i am going to be able to get to another shadow ball but at this point, I pretty much know what is going to happen for this team. Deoxys is a Pokemon, like I said, I just don't have a ton of counters for as being a newer player with limited access to Pokemon. Uh, so I am in a really interesting situation. They are going to go for another charge attack here to knock out my Noctowl before I can get to a Sky Attack or something of that nature, which is a smart move on their part. Simply remove the threat before they have to worry about maybe hitting another shield. We are able to farm down Deoxys, but there are two Pokemon left and we are out of shields, which is really, really nerve wracking for this particular matchup. They bring in Lickitung and we get to two charge attacks. We're going to hit them with the Scald, get an attack drop on them. I miss a couple of the... I, did I miss a couple of the bubbles there? I don't know what happened. I still got the Excellent, so we're not super worried about it. We're going to go for Acid Spray, and we're going to hit them to lower their defenses and maybe be able to farm down a bit with our fast attacks here. We hit them, and they allow it to go through. They still have the Shield, which puts us in a very scary situation. Lickitung is doing a ton of damage, and it's going to hit us with a Power Whip here very scary or a body slam either or is not good for my tentacruel they are going to go for the power whip though and it's a decent amount of damage i'm in a very scary situation where i'm going to have to probably throw a charge attack in order to knock out lickitung but that puts me right in position for diggersby to get out on the field and knock me out and again they have that shield so i see the writing on the wall here but i am just going to try and race to that next charge attack but they already had one ready to roll, and we're going to get Scorching Sands down here. It is an unfortunate loss, but again, they had a lot of stuff that countered my particular team, and that's just the way Go Battle League goes sometimes. So that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you like the new format, the new layout, and all that fun stuff. I watched back the first couple Go Battle League videos that I made, and I was like, I need an overlay because it just wasn't working. I didn't like how it looked. It wasn't super appealing on the eyes. I was always looking to the left. I didn't like it a whole lot. So hopefully this looks better. If you guys are enjoying the Go Battle League stuff, be sure to sub. There's going to be more Pokemon Go stuff coming. I'm enjoying it immensely. Playing this and VGC is super fun. It gives me just an opportunity opportunity to kind of switch up content styles and i'm really enjoying it and i've got more teams and more pokemon that i'm working on building up so that way i can keep making go battle league stuff uh, i'm burning through stardust like crazy right now so this is paldean adventure event is super nice because i'm farming up stardust to power up more pokemon we are switching to ultra league i have less ultra league pokemon prepped and ready to go but i am going to make some ultra league stuff as well it's just a grind right now for me to get pokemon ready but if you enjoyed at any point leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future i'll be sure check out the discord people over there hanging out playing pokemon pokemon go all that fun stuff all the time and if you want to see anything else from me check out any of these videos that you see here on screen but until next time peace